Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here. It's been over two years since I installed my video surveillance system using Unify Protect. And today I'm coming back with a video to tell you my experience with Unify Protect, what I like, what I don't like, and we'll give you some recommendations at the end if you are considering Unify Protect. Or if you don't want to go for Unify Protect, I can also give you some recommendation for wireless solutions. And also, if you stick to the end, I'm going to show you some footage, some crazy footage that I was able to get using my video surveillance system. So Unify Protect is a video surveillance surveillance system made by Ubiquity Networks for both businesses and residences. So if you want to protect your home or protect your business, this is some good system that you can buy and install. I made a video over two years ago showing you the installation of my system in my home network. I've never had any experience with any video surveillance system before, but I did a lot of research and after that I found that this was the best solution for me. And when my house was built, I also made sure that I have cables everywhere I needed camera. So what are the pros or the advantages of Unify? protect first of all it's local and you don't need any license the thing i like about unify protect beside the cameras you also need to buy an nvr or a network video recorder you can have it in your home network and you can save your footage locally unlike some other solutions like google next if you want to record the footage the footage is saved on the cloud and you need to have an active subscription to be able to save your footage. If you don't have that, you'll be able only to see the live feed from your camera. But Unify Protect offers you the solution locally where you can have an NVR or in my case, I started with the UCK or Unify Cloud Key, the second generation. And then I changed that and switched to the UDM SE that I'm using right now. And the reason I went from the UCK was just the power. I felt like the UCK was being overwhelmed by the number of cameras I have, almost 14 cameras. So it wasn't working good enough and I had to switch from that to the UDM SE with the 8 terabyte hard drive. And it's been working fine. And when you buy that, you don't buy any other license to keep it going. Unlike uh, Cisco Meraki, for example, if you want to go for that solution, it will cost you a lot in terms of licenses. The second thing is that it's affordable. If you look at the prices of these cameras, most of them are very affordable. The G5 Bullet, for example, actually they are at the fifth generation. So the G5 Bullet is $129, which is a good price. The G5 Dome, $179. The G4 Instant is now $99, but the G3 Instant back then was $29, so it was a good deal. I bought three of them. And uh, yeah, so these prices are good when you compare them to other solutions like Cisco Meraki. I know this is not Cisco Meraki, but you get almost the same kind of experience with the AI built in and everything. So this is a very affordable solution. And that's one thing that I like. I didn't spend very much. I didn't break the bank to install my system. And it's been working since then just fine. Another pro is just the use or the monitoring I have now of my home. I can be anywhere in the world. I will just pull up my phone, open the Unify Protect app, and I will have a live feed of my home and see what's going on. If there is anything happening, if I have notification enabled, I can be notified if there is any motion in front of my house. And that's something that you want to have. It gives you some peace of mind. Even when I'm here at home at night and I hear some crazy thing happening outside, I can take a look and see what's happening. So iPhone, Android, iPad, or even on your laptop, you can stream your live feed without any problem. Sometimes I like to put it on a big TV so I can see exactly what's happening. Or if I'm expecting somebody, I can wait for them looking at the camera so I can open the door when they are at the door. Another advantage is the different functionalities that you have. You have motion detection. Every time there is a motion, the camera can also send you a notification if you enabled it. Beyond that, you have smart detection. Smart detection is better because you can only detect what you want to detect. You can set it for humans or for cars. If it detects a car, it's going to send you a notification and you'll be able to take action if you want to. And that's some good thing that you get with this system. Another pro is that the cameras are very reliable. This one here has been working for over two years, almost three. And here in Denver, we have a lot of snow. We have a lot of heat as well. So all those elements didn't have any impact on the cameras. None of the cameras failed during this time. So all of them are working just fine. So they're very reliable. And the last thing I like about these cameras is that most of them are wired. And that's a good thing because you only need one Ethernet cable to bring PoE to the camera. And then you use that same cable to bring the footage to your NVR or your system or whatever. And that's a good thing. It might also be a con if you don't have cables ready. But to me, that's a good thing because PoE is good. All the energy is coming from the switch to the cameras. So talking about the cons, the first con, just like I said, is that most of these cameras are wired. So if you have a spot in your house or in your apartment where you cannot bring the cable, Unify Protect is not for you. The only camera that is wireless right now is the G4 Instant. 
It's a good camera, but it's small. It's not very good when it comes to the microphone. Even the quality of the footage is not as good as all the other cameras. So if you are not ready to install cables or if you don't have cables ready, Unify Protect will not be good for you. The other thing I don't like is the dependency on the internet. You have to have an internet connection to set up your cameras and you also have to have a connection to use them. So that's one thing that I don't like. So that's all for the cons. So you can notice that I don't have a lot that I don't like about Unify Protect. I've been happy with my experience for the two years. So if you are considering Unify Protect, it's a good system, I recommend it. The cameras are heavy and well built, so they will not fail most of the time. Just make sure you have the cables ready, you have a PoE switch, and you also have an NVR, a UCK or a UDM-SE where you're going to save your footage. So if you don't have the cables, then you may need to go with a wireless solution. I will not recommend you to have a lot of G4 Instant, for example. And one of the wireless solutions that I'm hearing a lot these days is the UFI system. These are the cameras that you can use in your network. You don't need cables. You need just to connect them to your Wi-Fi and some of them have solar panel where you can charge them, but some of them will probably just need power. I don't have any experience with UFI security, but it's something that I'm going to do for you and for one of my friends who asked me for some recommendations. So I'm going to buy um, a UFI system. I'm going to use it and I'll make videos. Before moving forward, if you like what I do, don't forget to like the video on YouTube and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my future projects. Also, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So to end this video, I promised you some footage that I captured with my camera. This one here is when someone broke in a car that was parked in my driveway and this guy just came it was almost like 2 a.m or 3 in the morning and the car was not locked that was a mistake so the car was unlocked the guy was able to open the car and pretty much take his time to grab everything from the car this is something that was shocking to me because i didn't know that this kind of things happen in my neighborhood as well so it was a big revelation that day for me the other one is the footage that i already showed you in my previous video there was this little girl that came running to my house and she was saying that she was being pursued by somebody but unfortunately i couldn't see who was following her i'm not sure i'm not saying she was lying but she was definitely very scared and uh, that was something that i was able to see from my camera when she was running toward the door and also uh, here in denver we have a lot of snow most of the time we have some footage of people being stuck in the snow or just the snow itself building up i usually like to do the time lapse of the snow and it's beautiful to watch all right guys that's all for today thank you for watching if you like the video again don't forget to like it on youtube and if you want to get into networking or if you want to advance your career in the tech industry I have a CCNA course on kbtrains.com. It goes from zero to engineer. We'll teach you everything you have to know to take and pass the CCNA exam. If you are interested, you can ask the question in a comment or send me an email. I'll be glad to respond. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and bye.